Ghost of Democracy here, welcome to another Minecraft Money tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own Forge Energy Storage. So before we get started, I want to make sure that you checked out the introduction to this series so you just understand the key concepts which you're going through regarding this. And I'm just going to put a note out there that this does require CJ Core. So let's crack right into it. Um, Forge Energy uses a capability system and the way they nor normally use it, they have an energy storage, like so. But there is a couple of flaws with their energy storage. More like it doesn't do exactly what I explained in the introduction. So what we're going to be using is a custom forge energy storage, which is just going to be storage. This, this is still the original energy storage here. But what it does have on this one is it allows you to extract internally and receive internally without using the uh, one that they provide. So what we're going to do is do this.storage because a new custom forge energy storage. And all I'm going to do is going to use this one, the capacity of a million, so one, two, three, four, five, six, that's a million forge energy and a max transfer of zero. Because all energy storages do not allow energy to be given or taken, except for from inside of it, which that's what the my version of it does. Uh, so we need this is a capability, so we need to set up the capability. So it's capability energy, and what we have to do is return the storage, like so. And here we go, capability equals capability energy again i'm just going to say it, we have it which is true now we need to write to mbt that's one of the things that the forge energy one didn't provide so what we're going to do is going to write to mbt so this dot storage dot write to mbt and that will write all of our data to the mbt and we can read from it so this dot storage dot read from mbt and like so, we've done everything with MBT saving sorted. So what we need to do now is actually transfer the energy. So we need to make it implement itickable. And what itickable does is it makes us have to add this update method, which every tick will be called. So we need to first make sure that we have a world. So it's not equal to null. Then we need to check if we're on a server side, so if this dot world dot is remote, and then we can do all our updating. So what we're going to do is this dot storage dot, and we're going to extract energy internally. So that's giving out energy to all the faces. And what we're going to do is we're going to use energy utils. So energy utils is from CJ Core, and it's give energy all faces. So we're going to extract energy from inside of us. Well, the energy we're going to extract is the amount of energy that we've given out. So the world is this.world. The pars is this.pars. The energy, we're going to do it in 1000 uh, forge energy. So the unit is uh, forge energy. So energy units dot forge energy. Simulate. No, this is not a simulation. And we need to say to here, it's not a simulation. And this wants us to cast it to an int because it is actually a long. And that will work. So now we need to do uh, receive energy internally. So what we're going to do, cast it to an int. Energy utils. And then this one's take energy. So we're going to get energy from all of the faces now using this. So this.world, this.pos. And the energy we're going to take is 1000, the energy unit is forge energy, simulate is false and simulate is false. So, we've now extracting energy from all the faces and giving it inside. We also have two uh, slots inside, so what I'm going to do is we know that, because the way I've got it set up is in the container slots I have a slot energy item. And it makes sure it has support for the item, otherwise it won't be able to go in. So what we can do is this dot storage dot extract energy. So this is when we give out energy. The giving energy is the first slot. So 
D. We're going to extract energy. We're going to cast it to an int in here because it's uh, one of the energy util stuff. And what we're going to do is extract energy and it's give energy. So it's the amount of energy that we've given to the stack in slot one. So this dot handler dot get stack in slot ID zero. The energy we're going to give is 1000 again energy units dot forge energy simulate false decide it's coming from um it's not coming from any particular side and simulate false so it isn't a simulation and need to make sure it's internal like so and then we now need to do one more receive dot receive energy internal cast it to an int and it's again energy utils dot this one's going to take energy from an item stack and the stack is this dot handler dot get stack in slot one so that's the give energy slot and that's 1000 energy units dot forge energy simulate full side that's false from is null like so so what this will do is it's going to give energy to all the faces around if it can receive it and take energy from all the faces around if you can take it it's also going to give energy to whatever item stacks in the charging slot and it'll also take energy from whatever slots in the decharging slot or the discharging slot i think it's called so we want to display our energy so we're going to have in our gui class an energy bar we need to add the init GUI method. So I'm just going to import energy bar. In the init GUI method, this is where we're going to initialize this because energy bar is actually a button. That's because you can click it. And I'll show you what clicking it does. So we need to initialize this. So this dot energy bar equals a new energy bar. We're going to use the second method, uh, button ID. All buttons need an ID. Ours are going to be the first ID, which is zero. The X position is already set up here. So that's X and y so x equals this and uh, not that x equals this y equals this why is he doing that again the width is 18 the height is 60 the energy and capacity will be zero for now and then what we're going to do is uh set this up so this dot button list dot add and then we're going to add the energy bar and that will automatically draw it for us. But what we want to do is we want to sync it. So this dot energy bar, we need to sync it with the server. So if you call sync data, and it's this dot t dot get parse, and then side is null. What that will do is sync all the data, like the energy and capacity of the time t in the energy bar. But that's going to do it every tick. We don't want to do it every tick. So what we're going to have is a uh, at the top, just below this, a public static int sync equals zero. Every uh, tick we're going to sync plus plus. We're also going to sync mod equals, so cap it at 10, so every 10 ticks will do it. If sync equals zero, then we'll sync. That's basically how that will work. Now, we're also going to have it so that it will hover over and show us the energy. So, what we can do is this dot energy bar dot is mouse over. If the mouse is over, then we're going to add a tooltip to this. So, what we'll do is this dot draw. Uh, this dot, I think it's draw hover text. Hovering text. And the string that we're going to use is arrays dot as list. We're going to use the second one, Java dot util one. And now we can put in what we're converting to a list. So we're going to have this dot energy bar dot energy add a space and then a CJ core config the default energy unit because that's what the energy is going to be converted into. And then we're going to put a slash and then we're going to have this dot energy bar dot capacity. Add space, add cjcore config dot default energy unit dot 
get suffix. The X and Y is just mouse X and mouse Y. And I'm going to control shift F to make that look a bit nicer. So that is our energy bar done. That is our energy cell done, I believe. So hopefully, once you run the game, everything will now work. Okay, so we're back. It's been a while. What I've done is I've actually added some more functionality so we can see how much energy we're getting every tick. Currently, it's none because I've filled this one up. And uh, if I head over to this one, that's also full. But you see that zero on the bottom, that's how much we're losing or gaining. Obviously, you're not gaining or losing anything. So if I place down this advanced one, you can see it's got no RF. Uh, this also changes with the config. I've made it so that if you put these on like show capacity and simplify, it will do that. And that should fix that. There we go. So you can simplify it, obviously, which is nice and you can obviously i don't like it simplified so i just like to leave it normally like this just in this mode and what we can do is if we place a coal generator next to it which has already got stuff in you can see that we are gaining 30 rf per tick which is correct place two that's 60 three that goes up to 90 and then obviously you can obviously get uh, the oil burner the oil generator next to it which will generate a bit more with some empowered that's 120 so that should be 240 which it is 240 and again fill it up so that's like 360 rf you can see that it's going up by 360 uh rf also this does change based on your energy unit so one thing that would be a dramatic difference is something like joules you'll see that it's 144 joules a tick but obviously i prefer redstone flux like so and obviously you can tell when you are losing power so the atomic constructor uh, reconstructor that will make us lose power because it does it at a thousand rs a tick i'm just going to turn it off before it scares me uh so that's losing 140 rf per tick at the moment while well, that's growing, uh, which seems about right. Obviously, if I shove another one of this on, and I went under, I can see that we're now on a gain of 80. And now it's full, we're going up to 480. So you can easily see how the energy is changing, which is super awesome. Super, super awesome. So I might just leave a coal generator next to this and you'll now be able to see it charge up. And obviously we know this works, the multimeter is working with it. As you can see I just have to hover over it, I can still bind it. And you can see that it says it correctly and it's bound to that one. Obviously you can bind it to this one here and this one here and unbind it as well. And that's super awesome so thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe i am out